all elements are not equally required by the plant. Some of the elements are required in a larger content. Some of the elements are required in a very, very small content. Like in our own house, when we construct a house, we require bricks in a very large number. We require mortar in a large number, cement and the sand. But we require electrical installation in a very small number. But still it is quite ex extensive. But we require cooking gas in a very, very small number only in one room called kitchen. So this is the same kind of demands are there by the plant. Some of them are major nutrients. They are required in bulk. They are required in large quantities and all your fertilizers are named after them. One is nitrogen, one is phosphorus and one is potassium. So that's why all your fertilizers are called NPKs. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Of course, different variation is required for different purpose. That we will come into it. Then some are the minor nutrients. They are required by the plant, but not in a very, very large number. Nitrogen is required, it's a bodybuilding. Potassium is required, bodybuilding. This is required for transfer of energy. Adenine triphosphate, adenine diphosphate, and all these things. Minor nutrients, they are required, but required in a lesser quantity than these major nutrients. And then there are micronutrients. Micronutrients are again of two types. The micronutrients, which the plant will take from the soil, and the micronutrients which the plant will take from the air. You have no control over the micronutrient which the plant is going to take from the air because they are free for all. Thank God, air is not for sale. Otherwise, people would have died of breathlessness. <laughs> so, same case with the plants. So, the micronutrients are boron, zinc, copper, manganese, iron and molybdenum. Some silicon is also of required, but silicon is the largest element present on this earth. Not on this earth. The entire universe has the largest element is silicon. silicon. So there is silica. And these are the gases, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and chlorine. So hydrogen gas, it takes in water, not alone. Hydrogen and oxygen in form of water, and then carbon dioxide in for this uh, photosynthesis and all that. These are the nutrients. So this is how you balance in hydroponic. Let us go ahead further. Now these are some of the commercial products. Now, aspirin is a salicyclic acid. That is the generic name for the aspirin. And then it has got dyspirin, this, that there are commercial names. So there are generic and then there are commercial names. So, zero, 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 no, no fertilizer. 19, 19, 19 is 19% nitrogen, 90% phosphorus, 19% potassium. So, in what form that is to be seen separately? No plant can take any compound as such. All nutrients are taken by the plants in ionic form. Even if you give, you know, farmyard manure, that is what I was discussing yesterday, it cannot be taken by the plant as such. It will have to be broken down into calcium into nitrate, into potassium, into phosphorus, phosphate, ionic form, positive charge and negative charge. Ammonia is a positive and nitrate is a negative charge. So, NPK 20, 20, 20, 20%, 20%, 20%. Now, you read the label very carefully. NPK 19, 19, 19 and NPK 20, 20, 20 is not just 1% difference. It has got more ammoniacal nitrogen. It has got more nitrate nitrogen. So, you will have to check the label carefully that what form of nitrogen is available. Again, it is just telling you something beyond driving, which is not required. Ke battery mein ji, ho, aapki jo car ki battery hai, us mein kitne cell hai, us battery mein kitni patiyan hai, ye wo bata raha hu mein. Iski jirurut nahi hai aapko as a hydroponic farmer. Itna samjhne ki driver banne ke liye, ke meri battery mein kitni patiyan hai. They can just to make the things clear. Then, when you go, you can say potassium phosphate lana hai ji. Agar aap dukaan pe jaake bolenge, ke hume potassium phosphate lana hai, तो कोई समझेगा ही नहीं तो कैसे समझाओगे हमें जी जीरो जीरो बावन चौथी दे दो फट दे देगा वो ये है जी जीरो जीरो बावन चौथी उसमें बिकॉज पोटाशियम इज फॉस्फेट इज देयर पोटाशियम मोनोफॉस्फेट सो पोटाशियम इज देयर एंड फॉस्फेट इज देयर देन पोटाशियम सल्फेट आपका हो गया आप कहे जी मुझे पोटाशियम सल्फेट दे दो वो पोटाशियम सल्फेट तो हमारे पास है नहीं जी फिर जीरो जीरो पचास है जी वो ले लो तो जीरो जीरो पचास इज नथिंग बट इट इज ए पोटाशियम फॉस्फेट